Hello and welcome back everybody. This is day three, just commencing of the December MHC and I've just found myself on top of a nice big red mushroom. So let's um, see if I can get this down without a creeper exploding me. Oh, nice red mushrooms are landing on the ground, ready for me to pick up. Okay. Anybody down there lying in wait? I hope not. Down we go. No, no one at all. Unless they're behind me. Right, okay. Picky up. What have I got now? 17 of those, and there's another red mushroom just here. Oh, that was... Oh, hello, Skeleton. I'll deal with you in a minute. Just wait your turn, sir. Exploding boys waiting in the woods as well. I should be able to. Yeah, get rid of you quite happily. Good. Okay. There's another skeleton further ahead. This is not the safest place, is it? But should be alright for a moment. Right, let's get out of here. Right, that should have secured my food supply. Though, just to make absolutely sure, I'll um, take down this brown mushroom as well. And then we should find that we've got food for days. Now, from seeing everybody... Ooh, that's not so good. Right. From seeing everybody else's videos in episode 2, I can see ahead of me there is some, some forest and then there's the, the ocean that everyone seems to be finding. It's waiting for me just over... Just about 300 blocks away, or something like that. Right. So, how many mushrooms did I manage to pick up there? Now, what I've got planned for myself today is going to be let's make a bit of distance, but then once night falls, how many have I got now? 30 and 30. What a perfect match. When I get to nightfall, I think it would be good for me to do a, a really serious caving session. Look, there's more mushrooms, but I think I th I'll stop there for the moment. Stop gathering those. And move on my way. Now, so... Mm, I'm swimming, and that's jumping. And that's using my food. Food shouldn't be a problem anymore. Okay. So just a bit of a boundary in my way. A, a obstacle. Right. Oh, it really is, isn't it? I'd be better to be on top of this. This is really slowing me down going all the way through there. What was I saying? I was saying that... Um, I would like to travel during the day, and then around about nightfall, I will cave. High up caves are not that useful, really. Um, I would like to do some serious mining. I still ah, oh, there we are, the ocean, the open sea. Um, yes, I would really like to 
to get uh, diamonds. And right, where are we? One crafting table. I haven't got a boat already, have I? And some wood. And oh, I lost my axe, didn't I? Hey, come here. Oh, crafting table. Right. Okay. Bob up. Good old Bob. Right. Let's make a little bit of distance. I really hate boats in 1.8 especially. I've hated them for several versions of Minecraft. But 1.8 seems to have really added a new dimension of hate to them because, as we've seen, they cause serious lag even on a single player world and when you arrive at your destination you're not really there and you get pinged back. Now I did a series recently, a few months ago, where I was um, trying to run in 1.8 away from a, an advancing border so I had to do everything at really high speed and one thing I was doing there was jumping into a boat racing as fast as I could ahead of the border and getting to a new piece of land and every time I landed the boat it would ping off in a different direction or it would break even but leave me um, still stranded out at sea. It was so unpredictable, well it was predictably awful. But yes, I'm sure we're going to see all that again here because um, what are we just coming up to seven minutes that's a little while before the end of the day. There's, there's no shortage of dark oak forests, are there? There's another one over there. And oh, I've lined myself up quite nicely on the z-axis now. Um, to be honest, if I really, really want to go to the nether, then it might be an idea for me to settle down and cave here and now if I can find a good cave, rather than waiting for the um, you know, nightfall and then... Hmm, I don't know that. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps we just travel on, travel on, and then... Yeah, it's, it's, the land will run out fairly soon, and... Sorry, the land will run out? Ooh, it's distraction of the pumpkins. Because that was another good food source, but it's it's a little out of my way, isn't it? I think I've got enough mushrooms now. That's really not going to food shouldn't be a worry. And especially if I do go to the Nether, then you'll find you should find lots of uh, both varieties of mushrooms in there. Right, if structures are off. I really think there's no chance of me running across an underwater temple, is there? Map, which is good, because they are not very nice places. I've played a little bit in 1.8, and once you get those guardian guys popping up and zapping you with their tractor beams or whatever they are, you're not happy. Right, we've got, is that a bit of swamp coming up there? Is there such a thing as a raised swamp? We've got swamp up on hills. Now, excuse me, but when I did my geography, I didn't think that could even happen. Right, so this looks like we're coming up to, we're nine minutes, and this is going to be, <laughs> where am I actually going to be? When this boat hits land, we're going to see some, no. Right, there it goes. Ooh, it didn't lag me. I scarcely believe that. Not a bit of fish. Oops. Find the right buttons. My hand's gone to sleep with them. Um... Right. Um. I may. Oh. I may not. Come on. Now is not the moment to be idiotic. I think. Um. I really do have to go caving. I think a bit more wood from up 
upstairs here would be... Oh, God, that sounded so much like a creeper was about to explode then. It was just something to do with the hiss of grass, wasn't it? Um, okay, it's about... Night is about to fall. I am going to dig down. Dig down like a chicken. Right. Right. Under here, I am going to go deep. I am not worried by looking for the perfect cave. I know what always happens in cases like this. As I start to dig down, I will end up coming straight into the roof of a ginormous ravine, which will scare the life out of me, and I'll think that I'm about to land right at the bottom of it. Ravines are not bad places. They can be scary, but quite often if you can get around there and light them up... Woo. Right. Another one of those needed. What am I doing? Keys. It's not the moment to for your keys to go wrong. Or my fingers, whichever one it is. Um, I'm going to need torches as well, aren't I? Sure, I will. Ooh, I haven't got much coal. Well, it's a caving expedition. I'm really aiming for good supplies of coal, iron, cobble, gravel, and look. What was I just talking about? It's not a ravine, but you poke your way straight through into a cave. Now that could be great. started silently concentrating at that moment. Hello, little cave. <sighs> now. Is there someone nearby who's going to come and welcome me? I've only got nine torches. They always come in families. That was close. And I've run out of torches. Come on, pick it up. This is no time to start a misbehaving game. multiple zomb. Does that mean it's a... <sighs> one of those places. Right, for the moment I am going to block off. That is... I didn't do that. Right, let's, let's take down some of these resources. really need the iron. One thing is I found that nice feather falling book which might come in useful and in order to take advantage of that I have to have an anvil. Hole through to the. 
right. Sorry. Yes, I need. I'm being a little bit timid here, but let's just get the, the first things we need first. Ooh, trying to speak myself. Right, really need what I really need is more space in my inventory, but um, I'm not going to be eating spider eyes. Um, right, the coal is good. need good enough supplies of iron and then we go deeper and we try to find the diamonds. Could we actually call that cave up there finished with? I wonder. I'm not sure there was any more easy iron to be had so I could consider this to be my my way that I go deeper and that will be good. Right, um, right for the moment let's, let's chuck a few things away that I don't want. Spider egg go away. Grass, I'm not going to be growing grass, I've decided that. Granite, rubbish, andesite, rubbish, um, wooden pick, rubbish. Right, good, good, good. That will be my start point. I'm going to go deeper. Right, I'm level 45. So, let's descend. And see what's underneath here. Now the likelihood is nothing. It's the way that Minecraft generates, you don't usually get interesting caves on top of interesting caves. I think they're usually slightly offset. You, sometimes you're lucky, or unlucky, depending on whether you want to find a cave or fall through the roof of a cave and splat on the ground. But uh, I'm not above doing a bit of strip mining. I think if I feel that what I really want is diamonds, I'll dig a few poke holes this way and that and see what I find. Get dark. Yes, okay, so I, I can make some more torches now. I did bring a bit of wood down here with me. I don't seem to be hitting anything. I'm listening out to see if I can hear lava. Of course, that would really help things. What I will do once I get to level 10, 11, 12, something like that, I'll stop and smelt up the rest of my iron, make myself a new pick. Well, this is a good enough place. Right. Um, wood. Oh, alright. Two different types of wood. Let's use up the, the lesser one first. Let's turn it all into sticks. Let's make enough torches to keep me going for a little while. Um, let's make another pickaxe. And right, this can be my base, just temporarily. And we should be able to get ourselves up to full iron. I can cook that fish as well while I'm at it. Right. Even more furnaces. Right, okay, there. That's um Get my iron cooking. Let's cook a salmon. Oh, 
I've just realised we're actually at the end of the episode now. So, that's the end of day three. And please come back next time.